So when Moses had passed on, so he handed over um, leadership to Joshua to lead the people of Israel straight to the promised land, to where God had promised them. You know, first and foremost, before I go, I want to say happy 2023. It's not easy. You have to be grateful to God for getting you here, for crossing over from 2022 to 2023, despite all the ups and downs. You're alive. You're breathing. You should thank God. All right. And I want you to believe that in this 2023, most of the promises, if not all of the promises that God has promised you will come to pass in Jesus name. So this is what happened to Joshua. When it was Joshua's turn to now take the rail, the, 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 the leadership to lead the people of Israel into the promised land. Okay, um, God promised him two things. If you go to Joshua chapter 1, verses 3, you will see the first promise God gave Joshua. Let me read that very quickly. He says, um, every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you. As I said to Moses, watch what God promised Joshua here. He said, I have given you past tense, not I will give you. God is saying, I have given you. You see, all the promises that God has for you, and your promises are you, your destiny. Your destiny is already given to you. It's just that you've not just arrived there yet. There may be so many reasons why you've not arrived there. It could be sin, it could be this, it could be so many things. It could be that it's not yet time for you to be there. That's why you have to be very patient. But the thing I want to promise you is this, that your destiny and the promises that God has for you is already given to you. For everybody, God is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the beginning and the end. He knows everything. He knows your future. You know, and if you go to, uh, you know, you know, you know God's thoughts, you know, God, the thought that God has for you is of good and not evil. God is a God of love. God has no evil inside of him. So God loves you and God has a destiny for you. He has a plan for you. And by the special grace of God in 2023, you will step into that plan and you see uh, the fruits of all your labels. And God will take you into that promised land so you can now begin, you know, to manifest your destiny on this earth. Okay, now the second promise was God promised him. God said in the same chapter, Joshua chapter 1, verses 5, God said in chapter 5, he says, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. No man, no obstacle, nothing shall be able to stand you all the days of your life. I say this, I say, no man shall be, and let's not, let's not think too far. Let's just let's think about 2023. No man shall be able to stand before you in all the days of 2023. Let's start from there. Let's not be too greedy now, okay? 2023, no man shall be able to stand before you. No obstacle shall be able to stand before you in Jesus' name. Nothing, no one shall be able to stand before you. You shall move from victory to victory to victory to victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, now let me read further. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. Wow. Isn't that wonderful? Knowing that God shall be with you and I in this 2023. Just like he was with Moses. You need to read the story of Moses. You know, and you see how God was with him. 
All right. God even called him a friend. So in this 2023, we will not let sin to keep us far away from God. Sin out of the way. God will be with us. God will be our friend. God will be Emmanuel to us in this 2023. So I want you to be encouraged. I know 2022 may not have met your expectation, but forget about that. It doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. What you have now is 2023. And God has said, he will be with you. He also said, he will not forsake you. He will never forsake you. He will not leave you. He will be with you. I will not leave you. And he will not forsake you. This is God promises for you. This 2023. For you. For I. And for anyone who's watching this. And anyone who believes this. Anyone who puts his or her trust in God. God will always be there for you. This is God's promise. God loves you. No matter what anybody tells you, no matter the situation you've seen yourself in the past, have that confidence that God loves you and God's rooting for you in 2023. Thank you for listening. Keep your faith up. Be strong and be courageous. Just make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and share uh, because this will help uh, people to get this message. This can encourage somebody Okay, so thank you and um, keep watching my videos. Uh, this year, I'll try to put up one, two videos every day for the next 365 days. So I'll see you in the next one. God bless you. Um, shalom.